Hey Randy, I'm moving on to bag number five and you may have noticed my Yoda moved into my office. Maybe he'll make a good desk ornament once he's finished. Speaking of moving Yodas, you might be wondering how I got him down to New Mexico with me. He doesn't have a passport, so I had to smuggle him in my luggage. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but Lego bags are puffy. They're a bit inflated with air, which I guess helps protect them during shipping, sort of like a bag of chips. But that means they take up a lot more space than they need to. Since we weren't checking any bags, I needed to conserve space in my carry-on. So here's what I did. I got a needle and poked all the bags, then I squeezed the air out. That made it possible for me to pack them into my bag all snug-like. So there's a Lego life pro tip for you. Deflate your bags before traveling. And here's the progress so far. Bag 5 is filling out another side of the frame, so it looks like I'm about halfway done with the Yoda body now. Still probably not all that recognizable as a Yoda, but it's starting to become more of a solid object now. I wonder if I should fill his insides up with midi-chlorians or candy or something. See you soon.